Hi, I'm Stephanie with the Note Ninjas, and together with Nicole, we make up the PTOT duo to treat, teach other PTs, OTs, and assistants treatment ideas and documentation tips. So today, we want to work on a bed mobility activity. So instead of just having your patient do bridges, we want to make it a little bit more interactive, a little bit more functional. So we are going to do bridges, but we are going to use these beanbags to help. Besides doing the bridge, it's also going to work reaching, maybe for dressing, or it's also going to work your obliques. So what I would do is I would have the beanbags right here, have my patient lie down on their back, and then side bend, working the obliques, doing a bridge, passing it underneath, and then again, reaching to get my obliques. So oblique reach, do a bridge, and then pass it to the other side. It's a great way to work on that dressing, core strength, stability, all the things, and it makes it a little bit more interactive than just having them lift up, which half the time they don't do. They have to actually get the beanbag underneath. While you're here, you could also do some beanbags under the legs. Again, just to really work on like the upper body dressing, the hip range of motion, the core stability, and it just makes it a little bit more interactive than just having the march like this. And then make sure to document it. Document how your patient's having difficulty with positioning in bed or with lower body dressing or with hip range of motion. Then you're doing this activity to help them simulate the activity. And then what cues you're giving, any verbal, visual, physical cues that they require. We hope this activity helped. Make sure to follow us at The Note Ninjas for more treatment ideas and documentation tips.